Hey guys, it's Eric from Pin Pioneer, and in this video I'm going to talk to you about version 1041, which includes potentially the most powerful feature we've ever released, advanced scheduling. Set and forget marketing. Essentially, this, what this allows you to do is set your marketing campaigns with Pinterest, whether it's following, liking, uh, repinning, posting, etc. Set those things, schedule them for specific times on specific accounts, then forget. Let the program run, accruing you more likes, more followers, posting your content for you. If it's linked with other platforms, it'll post it to those other platforms as well. It's all very, very cool, very automatic. Now, let me show you how this works because it can get a little bit confusing, especially since we are still in beta. Um, but it's pretty simple to do. So let's let's um, let's start. Right here, I've essentially scraped a bunch of pins under the popular hashtag. Okay, up to now it's all pretty traditional, the same work, same way it would always be done. But instead of pressing start pin, what we want to do is right click, add to scheduler, repin. Okay, as you can see here, I've added these pins to the scheduler. Alternatively, you can also go to the schedule box here and just hit get URL and um, search up things through here. So whether it's your keywords, your Flickr, your YouTube, your pins, your boards, people, whatever it is, you can scrape them through here and then hit add. I did it the other way. So now this is added to a repin setting. And repin um, consists of both posting and repinning content. So you can post content from Flickr, YouTube, or repin content from Pinterest. In this case, I'm using Pinterest. So repin is set to, let's say, 5, 5, 16, for instance. And I've used my comment here, the comment tag, to uh, use the same content description. I'm going to hit Add to Schedule at 5.16. Pretty simple. I can add my um, source URLs and choose my popular, uh, choose my boards and that accounts, all that kind of stuff if I want as well. Right now, pretty basic. Just your content description comment tag to use the, you know, the content over here, same descriptions, um, and my popular board. Likewise, I can go back and select the like button now, uncheck this, select um, 518 for instance, okay, and also hit add to schedule. Now it's going to like and repin please. I can then go hit comment for instance, and then comment on the same page. And do you see what I'm saying? It becomes very, very, very automatic. Now I can run multiple instances of the same program. So right now this is all being done on the Eric Roberts account. Now if I want, I can go open another instance in the program, like so, and repeat the exact same function with a different account now. You know what I'm saying? So it becomes very, 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 very automatic, very hands-free, very set and forget. Now to give you an example of how this works, let's just wait just another minute until 5.16. So, we'll, so this will start posting. Um, the repin is the first task. I'll pause this just for a second until it's posted. And then we can go back to here. This is my activity page, uh, which is over here. This activity page will come back to here and you'll see it's been posted. Okay, here we go. So, as you can see, this one is posted. The first one. If we go back to this page, um, these are the three latest pins. Well, we refresh just so you can um, see what I'm doing. So we refresh. These are the three pins that were just scheduled one minute ago that were just posted. Um, if I'd like to, I can you know, change the source URLs to something other than Pinterest. I can make it my own fashion blog. You know, whatever. Realistically, um, all the content descriptions are the same because we use the comment tag, like so, as you can see. Um, and see now, this one just said it was done as well. So these pins would have been liked and repinned. And this is completely automatic. I could have let the program running. It would have kept doing this. All I really need is the URLs, and the URLs can be either scraped from the program, your own URLs can be used, um, and your accounts will be selected through the account setting here. You can run multiple instances of the program so that multiple accounts can be running their own tasks at specific times, multi-threaded essentially. Um, now if we refresh one more time, it should say we liked some more pins. As you can see, these were also liked, same pins, repinned, and liked. Very cool, right? Completely automatic. Now, that's essentially all there is to it. Now, re replicate this with more pins, with more settings, following, liking. For following, it's essentially the same. Just get URL, choose your users, people, for instance, uh, skateboarding, scrape, 
people who like skateboarding. One, two, three. Follow. Add. So now they're they not here. Select the box. Select your random layer. I'm using zero here because we're, we're um, only posting small tasks, so three, four, etc. Um, select your delay, etc. And follow setting. Also activate this. Let's say 20. Add sketch. Now this is the following tasks. So pretty cool. Pretty cool. Now let's give this another second as well, and then you'll see it follow. So as you can see here, this row turned that beigey color and actions follow. If we refresh the Pinterest page, activity page, you'll see that it now followed these people. Awesome, right? Completely automatic, completely autonomous, completely hands-free. Now, that's all for tonight. So thanks so much and tune in for the next video. Remember though, this is still beta. So if you experience any small bugs or if you experience some glitchiness, let me know and it'll be taken care of. Um, and tune in for the next video. Thank you so much.